Hey, what's up everybody? Chief here. Thanks for checking out my video. If you haven't yet, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on bells for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams. While you're at it, why don't you go ahead and mash on that like button because it really helps me out. Before we get started on today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to Kind Rugsug for being a top tier sponsor on the Patreon program. I thank you very much for all the support that you've given to this channel and helping me grow and keep these videos coming. It's really appreciated. Okay guys, so in today's video, I am on my Battle Rock account and we are taking a deep look at the behemoth. But not just any behemoth, I put together this behemoth in the hopes that, uh, you know, I might be able to get him to brawl a little bit. This uh, robot is designed uh, to be a top tier sniper, but uh, you know, that's just not my style of gameplay. So instead, I decided I would go ahead and make this build and see what kind of damage I can do as a brawler or a beacon defender. So we'll take a look at what I've got built for you guys and then uh, get into a couple of matches. So here we are. This is MK2 Behemoth maxed out, and I have two glories and two Exodus. Now normally I don't run Exodus, but uh, I think for this build, the way I'm envisioning his gameplay, I think this is going to be a solid build. And I am running the loader paint job on him. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the robot itself is uh, its its a very large robot, and uh, it is pretty scary. Uh, as far as robots go, this thing just carries so much firepower. So a few more details here with the uh, Behemoth build. Uh, I am running a Last Stand and two Battleborns. Now a quick look here at the Battleborns, and yes, they do stack. Um, the Battleborn gives 50 points of defense uh, at max level, and I am running two of them. Uh, keep in mind there is a note here that uh, you can uh, increase the defense of Battleborn, but the duration is going to be the same, but you can never get to a point where you are invulnerable, so you will always take some kind of damage. Um, but uh, I think with uh, how I'm envisioning him as a beacon defender, it's going to be great. Uh, and I am running phase shift here. Uh, I think the uh, phase shift uh, is going to be uh, used a little bit more like uh, another last stand, basically. And a quick look here at the pilot, uh, a little bit of damage increase, uh, mechanic skill, uh, adamant roha roadhog, roadhog, and armor expert. Now, I kind of envision this build as uh, really being more of a beacon defender or a beacon pusher, just dumping some mass damage against multiple reds and getting a beacon or holding a beacon. And, uh, you know, I, I don't expect to uh, run him all over the field, though. Uh, I am running a health booster and a speed booster just to help me keep up with my teammates. And I'm probably going to run a couple of battles and uh, hope that this uh, build does work out. I'm not too sure, but I guess we will find out together. Okay, so here we are in uh, match number one, dropping in to some beacon rush on carrier map and uh, I ended up kind of in uh, the worst possible spawn location I'm not a big fan there of uh, that far left spawn but uh, we'll make the best of it try to pick up this uh, beacon over here and I did start off with my blitz just to try and help us secure some beacons and uh, then we will go from there so I do like to uh, cut over to this right side on this map to uh, try and uh, prevent the reds from uh, going into center. So it looks like they are trying. Uh, it looks like my team was able to take care of him. Give a uh, little bit of damage support here. Looks 
like uh, there's an a couple of Aljunes, maybe. Um, let me uh, drop down here. It looks like my team might be uh, getting ready to push there and claim that center beacon, so I'm going to try and cause a distraction over here on the right side. Uh, maybe try to uh, get this Aljun taken out if possible. And, uh, you know, sometimes if I don't go in to uh, get a beacon myself, I try to use my robot to cause a diversion. So in this case, I'm all the way back basically at their home, uh, their home beacon. And uh, hopefully I am drawing their attention back here so that we'll let my team go and uh, take that center beacon, which they did. So that's great. And uh, now I think, uh, unfortunately, they dropped in two back here. So I'm probably going to go down. Looks like I have the attention of at least four of them. And dropping in now with the Behemoth. Now the Battleborn is great because you get 20 seconds, but it doesn't start until you take damage. Uh, okay, so now I did take a little bit of damage there from the Aojun. So my Battleborn is counting down. I'm just going to uh, post up here and do as much damage as I can. I want to make sure that uh, they don't think that they can come in and take that beacon. So I'm uh, using phase shift to uh, move up a little bit here. And let me see if I can get this Aoju taken out. All right, there we go. And let me just try and get on this beacon and do some damage. All right, looks like they're underneath. I'm gonna drop down. There we go. And just let them have it. Wow. There is just so much damage here. Um, looks like, yeah, I, I went down, but uh, wow, I did quite a bit of da damage uh, in a very short amount of time, so I think that's great. Uh, so here I am, I, I dropped in now with the uh, Al Guang, uh, running the Pulsars. I'm just going to kind of hang back, give a little bit of damage support, and make sure that they don't uh, push into the center beacon. Now this is actually kind of a, a fun build uh, for the Ao Guang. Uh, 600 meter range on those pulsars, and they do quite a bit of damage. The uh, coolest part of the pulsars is that uh, people generally don't uh, pay much attention when they're getting shot by them until their health is almost gone. But uh, so I, I did move up a little bit here. And I'm just going to keep drawing them back towards their home, keep them uh, off balance, I guess. And I don't know if I'm going to get this beacon. I might. Well, I actually got the beacon. And now I'm just going to uh, finish taking these guys. He doesn't even see that I was back there. That is funny. Um, all right. So fortunately, I think I'm going to go down here. Yep. I. I went down. Uh, that's all right, though. Let me go ahead and uh, drop in now with the Deathwing. Now I've got the uh, Redeemers here on the Deathwing, and uh, not really featuring it in this video, but uh, I might do another video uh, with this uh, build because this is a very powerful build for the Aoju. And uh, I'm just going to uh, try to keep them pushed back. And uh, looks like we've got a really big beacon bar advantage right now. So I think uh, keeping them off balance early and uh, pushed back out of center really helped to uh, take control of this match uh, and play, uh, play the match based on beacon rather than just trying to uh, mech them out. So looks like, uh, looks like they are actually starting to mech out, but uh, the match is over, and there we go. So <laughs> I think that was actually a, uh, ev even though I was not in the behemoth for very long, I think it uh, demonstrates the uh, massive firepower that that has. Um, so I was able to drop him in, just dump a ton of damage onto the reds, and it uh, really hurt him. Okay, so here we are dropping in on another beacon rush, and this is Castle Map. I'm dropping in once again with my Blitz to get things started, and I am going to uh, try and work my way through the crowd here and uh, head over to the bridge beacon. Hopefully uh, we did have somebody going up to secure our top beacon. 
Okay, and it looks like the reds are going to push. He phase shifted. Let's see, it should be coming out. There we go. And hopefully we can lock him down or uh, at least kill him. There we go. All right, so uh, we should be able to pick up the uh, <laughs> the uh, the bridge beacon there. Well, so my team was all in uh, phase shift. I thought for a second I was seeing some ghosts. All right, so now I'm just going to uh, continue on with the uh, blitz. Uh, move up here. It looks like uh, yeah, there's uh, one person dropping in. I'm gonna try and get this beacon turned. And uh, if I can, I think this would be a great spot to drop in that behemoth. So let's see if I can take him out. There we go. All right, now give me the beacon. All right, so we got the beacon, that's great. And oh, they are all dropping, uh, starting to drop drop in here. A um, Couple of Ares, let me try and get some damage before I go down. And uh, okay, I need to be quick and drop in this uh, behemoth. There we go. Now I'm going to just start laying down the damage. Ooh, there's a falcon there. But look at his health. Wow, his health is just dropping. That's great. So I'm going to phase shift just so I can get up on the beacon because I don't want to lose it. All right, finish him off. There we go. There's some Ares. Some more Ares over here. Looks like uh, Lancelot. Should be able to uh, get him taken down pretty quick. There we go. And wow, so their whole team is over here and I'm keeping them at bay. Um, that is awesome. I didn't get a lot of kills, but uh, they did not get their beacon. And that is great. Um, so we've, uh, we've got them four capped now. Uh, locked down, uh, dropped in here with the uh, invader. This is a, a pretty fun invader build here. Um, I believe uh, Kine has been running this build recently. Um, in the clan and, and it's uh, it's actually pretty effective so okay now we've got them uh, five capped and uh, just trying to uh, lay in some damage and keep them in their spawn so they can't get out and uh, pick up a beacon so there we go and let me drop in now with the uh, Al Guang and uh, try and finish off this Ares here as soon as the shield goes down there we go Okay, he got to cover, and yeah, it looks like another Falcon, but uh, match is over. Wow, that was way too short. Okay, so um, yes, the uh, Behemoth was awesome at uh, defending the beacon there, especially with so many reds, but uh, man, that match was just too short. I'm going to have to do another match for you guys. And hopefully that uh, next match will go just a little bit longer than that one, but uh, wow. That was, that was actually quite a lot of fun. Okay, so here we are, Beacon Rush. Once again, we are dropping in on Springfield. Um, hopefully this match will go just a little bit longer than that last one. Uh, starting off once again with my Blitz. Going to uh, try and get up here and secure our home beacon. Hopefully this Strider goes to the right. And no, he's not trying to shoot him to get his attention let him know I'm behind him but uh, that's all right I guess we will both uh, just uh, move up together and try to uh, stop the Reds from getting that platform beacon so uh, here we are I'm just uh, using my ability just to uh, get that speed increase so I can get up here unfortunately they did get a turned red but uh, let's see if we can't take it from them and here we go. All right, so now we've got an Ares. Let's see if we can't uh, take him out. There we go. All right, so my teammate is up inside of his shield. That's great. And looks like a uh, Lancelot. I'm going to uh, got him suppressed and try to get him taken out. We did get the beacon, which is great. So if I go down, I think I'm definitely going to drop the uh, the behemoth and give them a little surprise here. So. Uh, I did go down. Let's drop him in and say hello. As soon as this guy comes out of his uh, phase shift, he is gone. There he goes. One kill. Oh, what's this guy over here? Let's take him down too. Oh, he's down too. And what do we got? Was that a Heishi? Let's, uh, let's try and get him knocked down. Let me uh, post up here and just dump on him. There we go. 
Yeah, his shield didn't really matter. Nice. A little bit of uh, damage from across. I'm going to go ahead and phase shift. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and move straight out and uh, try and get over since uh, they are all bunched up there in center beacon. Let me go ahead and then move up. I know I'm taking quite a bit of damage, uh, but uh, you know what? That's fine. I am just going to dump as much as I can on these guys. Here we go. All right. Oh, yeah. So I still took out three of them. Um, uh, definitely didn't last as uh, long as I as I probably could have, but uh, you know what? I'm just having a little bit of fun. That guy is such a beast when he's dumping all of that uh, damage out. Uh, anyway, I uh, I dropped in here with the uh, invader, just going to uh, give some support over here on the farm beacon, and uh, looks like they can finish that guy off. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to move on into center now and uh, finish what the uh, behemoth started. So, uh, yeah, I, I was pretty aggressive with the behemoth on there, but, uh, wow, you know, I mean, he's just, he, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but, uh, you know, if, if you do decide to try and brawl with him, you definitely want something that can dump a ton of damage really fast. Uh, he... He has a lot of health, but he does not last very long in uh, in, in matches. You know, personally, I, I don't think I would run him on my my, my own personal account, but uh, you know, it sure is kind of fun to to get on and, and play with him like that. Though it is, uh, you know, he can dump so much damage. And uh, here I am. Uh, I should be able to get. Yep, so we got uh, Center Beacon here. Uh, just missed taking out the uh, Nemesis. Should be able to finish him off though. Okay, he is down, and I have an Aljun burning me up. I'm going to try and suppress him. There we go. He should be suppressed. Yes, he is. And let me see if I can just finish him off over here. And there we go. He should go down. And, uh, ooh, okay. He was holding on for dear life, but uh, he ended up going down. And should be able to take out the Spectre. There we go. And what is this? Is that now Guan? And, uh, oh no, that's a hover, I believe. Anyway, um, he doesn't look like he's doing so hot. I'm uh, just going to drop in over here now with the, uh, the Ao Jun. And, uh, looks like, uh, this match is going to be over here pretty soon. Uh, get a little bit of, uh, extra damage. I'm not sure why he phase shifted. But uh, I guess if he has that many uh, power cells, then more power to him. And should be able to still finish him off. There he is. Get some good damage over here to the right. Need to uh, reload. And there we go. Take off once more. Ooh. Wow. That was like one one cycle of, uh, of, of plasma and... Uh, almost killed that uh, Ares but uh, yeah okay so uh, that is the match 2.1 million damage uh, had a little bit of fun played pretty aggressive with that uh, uh, with the behemoth but you know what I'm, I'm an aggressive player um, but uh, it was still fun and it, and it still kind of shows that uh, you know the amount of damage output that you can you can lay into a match with uh, four heavy weapons going it's just insane Okay, so that is going to be it for the uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Uh, I am going to uh, end this video with uh, several montage clips of the uh, behemoth in action brawling, um, holding beacons, taking people out. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually quite fun. I hope you enjoy it. And until the next video...